market over the edge and into number one place in the entire state for farmers markets. And it's because of offerings like this. So we've got Farrow from 1837 Vegan cooking up a wonderful treat for us and also Amanda Barrage from the Midtown Farmers Market Association. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for having me. It smells amazing in here. And sometimes, you know, when you say vegan to people and they think they're going to have to give up eating something that's hearty or something that's satisfying in right. order to eat vegan. But oyster mushrooms kind of mimic meat in a lot of scenarios when it comes to vegan cooking, right? Absolutely, they absolutely do. There, there's a different variety of mushrooms, and we're fortunate enough to be in the Sacramento region where we get locally sourced mushrooms of so many different varieties. This one in particular tastes like chicken. Mmm, so, tastes like, tastes like chicken. <laughs> everything tastes like chicken, right, right, but right? this one actually does. Tastes um, like chicken. And as he's working on this, Amanda, tell us, um, offerings like this are really what's helping the Midtown Farmers Market get up there in the rankings and this vote that's being held by the American Land Trust? Yeah, the American Farmland Trust, so uh, visitors can go into markets.farmlands.org uh, and vote for us to be the best farmer's market in the state of California. We have a huge market in the heart of Midtown every Saturday year-round, and mm -hmm. the piece where we wanted to focus this season was on highlighting our amazing vendors like 1837 Vegan with free activities every weekend, and so this weekend he's going to be cooking this dish live on site a couple times. He'll be able to have a demonstration at 10.30 mm -hmm. and at 11.30 for our visitors. Well, and then you can go and just make this at home after you've seen the professional carry it out. Absolutely. So you have been cooking these for how long? Uh, I've been cooking these actually for about, I would say, 10 to 11 years. I used to be a fireman for the city of Reno. And, uh, I meant I today. How long oh. have you been cooking them for? Oh, you meant today. I <laughs> yes. thought this was a biography. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean for the recipe. Oh, for the recipe. You, know, you have a long history working with mushrooms cooking, like this. Yeah. But for this recipe, which is going to be oyster mushroom tacos, right. how long have you been cooking them? Uh, we've been cooking these for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, right. okay. And then what kind of tortilla do we have here eventually uh, for the taco? These are Mi Ranchero organic corn tortillas. Corn, okay. Uh, that's one thing that we do at 1837 V. Is everything is organic and GMO free as well. No soy, no wheat, no gluten. So we're really dietary friendly and uh, we're just trying to make sure people have a healthy option and it tastes good. What first attracted you to vegan cooking? You said you've been doing this one for 10 years. Why? Uh, because I wanted to improve my health. You know, I was a fireman. Now mm -hmm. we're going back, excuse me, <clears throat> to no the biography, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but I wanted to improve my health and improve uh, my longevity in life with doing that job. And so and those guys ate well and I wanted to eat even better. So. And you I feel like that's man. made a difference over the last decade for you? A huge difference. All yeah, righty. Okay. So. And again, this is a recipe that you can learn tomorrow, demonstrated by the professionals right here at the uh, Midtown Farmers Market and help the farmers market get to be number one, voted number one in the state of California. We are going to send things over to Adam for a